Click Dork back again and today, my friends, we continue my series on click answers as I help you on your journey to trying to become the chief question officer for your company. Today, we're specifically going to be looking at how you can create an assistant using knowledge bases that already exist. Are you ready to dig in? Because I sure am. You can see here on my split screen setup that I'm working as the click dork who is a normal business analyst who's going to use an assistant. I'm also working as Dalton Ruhr, who's the chief question officer, and Dalton has just received an email from his boss asking him to please set up a, an assistant that analysts working on our SAP data can utilize. So Dalton's going to come in, he's going to create, create an assistant, he's going to give it a strategic name like SAP Assistant. I'm very, very creative in that way. And I'm going to say that I want to put that into click answers. As I get started here, you'll see the first thing I need to do is add a knowledge base. An assistant doesn't work if there's not information there. I've already created knowledge bases that can be used, and those things are already indexed. So you'll see just how fast you can get going after you do that and you want to create an assistant. I'm simply going to press add. And I'm going to take that SAP contracts. Woohoo! Yay! There we go. I'm going to put that in there and we have an assistant ready to go. Maybe I don't want it to just have this standard out of the box SAP assistant name and this message. With the settings, you're able to go in and you can change this. So we're going to call it the SAP wizard instead. And I'm going to put a welcome message like you've got questions. I've got answers, and yes, of course, the pun is intended. If I wanted to have a description of the things that are behind this, I could put those things in there. But that's basically it. That assistant is set up and ready to go. SAP Wizard, this is awesome. You've got questions, I've got answers. Let's find out, buddy. I do have a question. Who's the customer for order 5228? Because I'm on the phone with them. i got things to do. Oh, the customer is this? Fantastic. Yep, I'll have them verify that information for me. Hey, by the way, did this customer order Sunny Extreme? Now, I want you to catch the way I phrased that question. Did this customer, which customer? Right? As a human, you are able to interpret context. If I just finished asking you about 5228, you would remember that. And guess what? So does Click Answers. Click Answers remembers the context of the last two questions you've asked and the responses, as well as the first question that you asked in any given thread, and is able to just keep going with that, which really makes it very conversational, as opposed to me having to be very specific in what I write. Well, maybe those were just lead up questions. I just needed to find out some base things that save me time before I ask this question that actually saves my brain some work. They called and complained to me that the beer color wasn't what they thought it should be. What are their legal rights for this order? Now, that may be something that even if I'm reading the contract itself, I may or may not be able to interpret from the warranty which things would relate to that. Well, as with anything, the analyst here, the click door could come in and find out specifically where in the contract that part lied and then they can make a determination, send that to the customer. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Smith, you're not able to do this. Um, here's the warranty that says that's not allowed, right? You know, I hope you have a great day. Um, sorry you didn't like that. Well, as the click dork begins to try to advance in his career and become a chief question officer like Dalton Rohr, he might ask things to try to help him get an understanding of this so that he knows what things he can ask about this material. Like, can you tell me a few things that are common about all the orders, right? That's something that the click dork, even if he had access to the 55,000 or hundreds of thousands of contracts would never possibly remember 
with the photographic memory as he got to the next one and try to pull all those things together. Click Answers can do that kind of thing and can help you understand, hey, here's the things you should be looking at. Well, maybe he wants to go ahead and continue this. Can you generate some questions I could ask to find out about the differences within the orders that I might miss by reading them one at a time, which he certainly would. I'm pretty familiar with that guy. He would absolutely forget things as he went on. Hey, those are some great things to think about. You know what? I would like you to specifically generate questions for those things. Again, in context, those things are the things that the wizard suggested. Hey, great. Here's a list of questions that helps me get going. Well, I can go even further. I'm going to ask this question, which may seem kind of weird. Customer claims that they cut their hand opening a bottle of beer with their hand instead of an opener and they are threatening action. Have we had any cases that are similar? I'm sorry, I don't have any answer to that question. I could help you with something else. What are you talking about? You know good rotten bag of bolts. I know doggone well we've got legal cases out there. You should be able to do this for me. You just ruined my day. Now I have to work and I can't go play golf for the rest of the afternoon. All right. I'm being a little facetious. What I want to make sure you do is I'm setting this up so that you'll watch our next video and see what we can actually do to make sure that it would answer that question. So come back for my next video on how to review the information from an assistant. Hope that you have a great day.